This is not your standard breakfast show with Andy Curtis. Our guests today are Kunuch and John, who are from the Huahin Cycle Club. Uh, and I'd like to say a very good morning to both of you. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning to you both. Uh, thank you very much indeed for, for coming down to see us. Uh, John, we'll start with you, if you don't mind. Uh, Tell us a little bit about the Hua Hin Cycle Club. Sure, the, the Hua Hin Cycling Club is a club that my wife Nooch and I started uh, just a little under two years ago, be two years in November. And the, the concept of the club was to have a club for both foreigners and Thai riders. Uh, okay. Hua Hin has uh, separate clubs. Um, so we, we did that and we've been largely successful. Uh, we have about half of our members are, are Thai and we also have a number of women uh, riders in our club, which is a little bit different, separates us from some of the other clubs as well. Okay, so. are, are there many cycle clubs? No, so I'm going to ask you this one. Are there many cycle clubs in Hua Hin that you know of? Yeah, kind of bit, you know, like two or three big clubs here, you know, some like most Thai, most foreigner, okay. and our club like mixed. You Your know. club is mixed. Well, yes. I think that's probably a very good idea. Uh -huh. uh, when when do you go out cycling? I mean, obviously, you know, with a bicycle you can go out any time you like, but presumably you have sort of fixed times that you that you you meet together and go out for a ride. Uh, that's correct, uh, Richard. We have uh, club rides every Saturday morning and every Tuesday morning. We start at 6:30 a.m. And we go out for plus or minus a uh, hundred kilometers each wow. time. So it's about maybe three hours for for each ride. Okay, and uh, and presumably your your uh, cycling members are fairly seasoned cyclists. They they kind of have been cycling for a while. It's it's is it okay for beginners or or you need to have a bit more of a an I, idea of what you're doing? I, I'd say for our club you need to be fairly fairly experienced. Yeah, these are pretty experienced cyclists. Okay, so I cycle down the road to get my coffee on a on a maybe once or twice a week basis by the time I get back and it's only like a five minute ride by the time I get back my thighs are, are burning uh, so obviously you have to be kind of fit this is this is obviously a very good form of fitness cycling yes yeah that's correct it's uh, quite good um, endurance very good very good health wise what part of the body uh, benefits from cycling or is it an entire body thing well I think it's an entire body thing I mean clearly your legs are going to benefit from cycling <laughs> <laughs> mine especially <laughs> But yeah, it's a heart and lung your thing because you're yeah. you're um, out for. You know, so it's kind of aerobic and uh, very much aerobic, very okay. much aerobic exercise. Yeah. All right. Mm. Uh, and uh, your group meets on a. You mentioned before your group meets once a week for a, for a big cycle or twice a week for a big cycle. Mm. Uh, and you said that it's it's how how long is the cycle? About a hundred kilometers. About a hundred kilometers. Um, we tend to go a little bit shorter on Tuesdays, maybe closer to seventy or eighty, and then on Saturdays, uh, ninety to one hundred and twenty. So where does that leave you then obviously you're going 50 50 kilometers out and then 50 kilometers back in again so where, where are you cycling we, we to? We make loops we um, we uh, go out to Cham we go up to uh, the Chong Hua Man Royal Project we go out to the Pranberry Dam out into the, the countryside you know right. Pranberry Reservoir Way Samroy Yacht so we go different directions make different loops try to keep it interesting and uh, a little bit different every week. Okay obviously hydration very very important. Hydration is critical uh, very important that when I I first moved here that was one of the first things I had to learn is to drink enough and get some electrolytes in your system while you're going as well right so I mean how, how does that work then when you when you're cycling each week how much water do you need to bring with you per person must be quite a lot well you know everybody's different in that regard but for myself personally I I drink about one large bottle of water every hour wow. so, so generally start with two bottles so that'll get me two hours right. um, but we stop before that and then we usually get water whenever okay. we stop somewhere I and you pick up some more. Yeah. Pick up some more water. Yeah. Uh, Nooch, maybe we can start with you. Give us an idea of, of what, it, what it is and, and who's coming and, and what the event involves. Yeah, we have uh, two things. Uh, we, the event name is Hua Hin Championship Road Race 2025. Okay. The race is going to be on uh, February 9, 2025. Okay, so you've got a while to prepare then. Mm -hmm. It's not, not this year, so it's early next year, yes? Yes. Okay. And we have uh, 95 kilometers to people need to do the race. And we have 50 kilometers 
for touring. Okay. Anybody can join, and any bike they can use for touring. Yeah. Okay. So, so there's two events, both part of this championship next year. Uh, John, you were mentioning before that uh, they are they're separated into kind of two events. In fact, Nuj just mentioned it. There, you you have a, a longer race for for seasoned riders and a shorter race for uh, kind of beginners or people like me who'll be going very slowly. Tell me about that. that. That's correct. So they'll, they'll, it's on the same day. It's going to start uh, 7 a.m. on uh, February 9th. 2025 and we'll start out with the race 95 kilometers we'll have different categories we'll have open men's and women's we'll have age groups and we'll even have a, a heavy category for people that are 85 kilograms and, and bigger um, and then, as and then <laughs> once that once once the competitors on their way uh, then we'll start the tour and that's really the fun race we'll have uh, lots of prizes too so so for the competitors we'll have trophies and cash awards and uh, everybody gets a medal and we then for the tour and, and we'll have a champion jersey for the champions uh, and then for the tour we'll have prizes as well and maybe news you want us to talk about the prizes for the tour. yeah for for the tour like uh, people who who come to join the race uh, to join the tour far away and people who have a big goal and people who like wear like fancy costume oh yeah. there's a fancy dress element to it yes. as well oh, that's gonna yes. be fun okay and uh, Event gonna be uh, start and finish at uh, Hua Hin District Office, next to Bypass. Very Road. good. Well, uh -huh. That sounds lots of fun. Uh, so uh, you mentioned that you have a category for people over 85 kilos. As I say, guilty as charged. Uh, is is weight an issue for cycling then? Weight is uh, is a, an issue. And it depends on how much elevation you have. So on a on a flat course, it's not going to make too much difference. But the, the course that we have is quite hilly. We've got the, one of our big hills is near um, Monsoon Valley Vineyards. Right. And so the the people that are heavier are at quite a disadvantage going up hills. So so it's <laughs> so I think they appreciate having this category. Oh, I think you'd probably just jump off the bike and roll it up the street. Well, that's what I would do anyway. Uh, I you wanted to point out that there is, this is not a profit-making race. This is that there's some benefits to this as well. Yes, uh, that's correct. So all proceeds from the race, less our uh, operating expenses, will be donated to the Red Cross. Fantastic. Here, here in Hua Hin. Okay, uh, and you've had some endorsements, I believe, from the local authorities too. Uh, we we have. You know, we're we're one of our main objectives here is to support the Prachup Kirikans uh, health and wellness tourism objectives, and so we've got support from the Hua Hin. Cha'am uh, Tourism Authority from the municipality uh, and several of the local organizations uh, are helping us as well. That's very good. And also uh, earlier on when the microphones were off that you have some people coming in from overseas to take part in this race that have registered already. Is oh we correct? do. We do. We have a couple people that have registered from Alaska and we're, we're already <laughs> helping <laughs> helping them work out the logistics and bookings and stuff. So yeah so we've been uh, advertising uh, uh, near and, uh, and abroad so we're hoping to get people from all over. <laughs> Uh, but you, you do want people to get involved uh, locally as well, if, if they haven't already. We, we'd yes. like everyone to get involved. So people that are competitive and uh, either want to race others or, or just push themselves to see how fast they can go, you know, please join the, the 95 kilometer race. Uh, and then people that are just really enjoy fitness, want to get out, get some fresh air, nice scenery, uh, join, the, join the 50 kilometer tour. It's going to be fun, families, uh, any bike you want to ride, it'll be great. If any of our our dear listeners would like to take part or they would like to find out more about the cycling club uh, how can they get hold of you well I think the the best place is on Facebook so we've okay. got a, a Facebook page uh, for the cycling club uh, facebook.com who cycling so who cycling. very simple very simple is that all one word or there's one it's one word who so who cycling, cycling. Mm, that's and big the big event next year is the who championship road race 2025 in two parts more details of course on your Facebook page John Kunuch it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much indeed for coming down to join us today. And all the best with the cycling and with the racing. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.